this legislative session, we, we have made real progress in filling gaps in the system with some historic funding investments. Governor Cox there holding a ceremonial signing of several bills aimed at helping solve the homeless crisis in our state. One of those will mean a pilot program of micro shelters will stay up and running in Salt Lake, at least for now. New specialist Debbie Worthen has more now on how this new program here is helping. And Debbie, the program is extended right now. Does that mean that they believe it is working? Well, some of the numbers are really promising. In fact, they say that they have been able to transition 37 of the residents at this switch point facility to permanent or supportive housing. And they say they have given 20% of them full-time employment. So they're feeling really good that they get to extend this for another six months. It is a good feeling that we don't have to worry about where we're going to put our head at night. And it's, it's amazing, like, getting us into housing and get all the sources that we need. Kimberly Lambie and her fiancé have been here at Switchpoint for about a week. Their hope? Their next stop will be a place of their own. And that's part of the goal here, where there are enforced rules that include bag checks, curfews, a strict no-drug policy. At first, Michael McCoy was worried it was too structured. Not anymore. The structure's done a lot of good. He now sees the staff as helping the residents learn self-reliance. They're trying to help us build the life skills that we need to succeed after here. Carol Hollowell is the CEO of Switchpoint, the nonprofit that runs this place. She was in Tooele today when Governor Cox announced the good news. We did receive uh, the, the word that we have the funding to continue for another six months. She feels like the pilot program that started last year is proving to be a success. The micro shelters are 75 square feet with a heater and a lock on the door. Her goal is to help the tenants transition out of homelessness. It's turned out um, better than we expected. She believes that's what a safe, stable environment can do. Empower those who are here to become independent. How do you do that if you're sleeping on the street and you really don't sleep very good at night when you're on the street? That safe space combined with caseworkers is what those who live here say is the key to creating a new life. It's amazing because me and my fiance aren't doing it alone. Like we're not alone in this and there's people that care. Now, purchasing those micro shelters and getting them up and running for the first six months costs $1.8 million. The hope is now that they have some of those things in place, they can do it much more affordably over the next six months. Back to you. Yeah, and hopefully it keeps doing the good that uh, they hope it will continue to do. Debbie, great story. Thank right. you.